the first time I talk All right, welcome back, guys. LaShawn Richards, a captivating storyteller from Blooming Daily Publishers, is here to talk us and take us through a journey into an enchanting world of Blooming Kids, a club tailored for children aged 4 to 11. Good morning to you, my darling. Good morning, good morning. Listen, I'm so happy for this. Yeah. As a mother who has a seven-year-old, was seven-year-old, almost seven, he's seven next month, mm -hmm. to find somewhere to put him right. to engage in these things. Right. So, I mean, big up to you for creating that space. So Blooming Daily, it's not just a publisher right. or, or a publishing house, but it's also a space for them to be engaged. Right. So talk is. us to exactly what you do there. Okay, so each club meet is about focusing on a story, right? This story we use to tell stories that encourage and uplift our, our children. So our next um, club meet will be about emotions, dealing with very big emotions. The book in focus is called Beanie Bugs. Like what? Emotions like what? Um, happy, sad, angry, excited, all these different emotions and how to deal with them. A lot of times children feel, so feel things, they don't feel like it's okay to feel that way or they don't know how to react to okay. these emotions. It's about focusing on that, the reaction of what to do. Do you walk them through things like nerves and anxiety? Oh, and definitely. the reason why their little hearts are beating fast? Definitely, you know? definitely. Okay, and what to do when yeah. it happens. Okay, right. awesome. So the book talks about that and then you tell them exactly what to do in that situation. What do you tell them to do? Okay, first of all, it's about talking to somebody you, you are very close to. A lot of times children don't feel, they have a feeling, they don't know what to do with it. The best thing to do is always talk to a grown-up, talk to a friend, mm -hmm. to see if what they're feeling is justified and how they can best move forward. Okay, I love that. Um, so I also noticed that you have a couple of, what are these? Oh, Little okay. cards here that have so, a balloon attached to it? Yes, these are what I would give children at each event. So each activity has something fun them, for, them, for them to use. So while the books has probably coloring and drawing, there's also props that they can use. So um, next month, since that, or this month, since the theme is about emotions, the cards has something very encouraging on it. And there's a balloon for them to use and play. They would like to, you know, Play, have something they can use. Okay, right. nice. You say um, this is this month's read, right? Do right. you have another one at another point in time? Um, so the upcoming months, I want to partner with new authors, right? And these authors, if their stories, um, anything yeah. encouraging or uplifting, I invite them to partner with me so we can use that as the focus for every month. Okay, I love that. Yeah, so how can they get in touch with you though? Okay. If they wanted to, um, you know, submit a book for consideration? Just um, talk to me on Instagram at Blooming. Daily Publishers. Okay. So Blooming Daily Pub. All right. So this is something that you wrote. Right. Right. Beanie Bugs. Yes. And the story is about how to manage emotions. Right. Um, so it's about bugs right. doing so, some work together. Right. <laughs> right. So these are the bugs. They, um, they have a task of, you know, building their homes and gathering enough food for in time for the rainy season. Okay. But what happens is that some of the bugs are facing some very big emotions. Some are scared of going into the forest. You know, some don't, are, they're falling behind, so some are very feeling like they don't know how to move on. Mm -hmm. So their, their leader, Alina, helps them to get through these big emotions to get their task done before the rainy season. Okay, how has the program, um, you know, result, uh, has it resulted in any examples of success so far? Do you have kids coming out saying, boy, you know, I've learned something new today, auntie. You know, you've really Oh, yes. Me. Yeah. So one of the big things about Blooming Kids is that we encourage children to believe in themselves, right? So one of the questions we ask is, what do you want to be when you grow up? Something as simple as that. And at the end of the day, if they haven't thought about it before, they're thinking about you know, what they're going to do. So I hear children say, you know, I want to be a doctor. A lot of children, I want to be this, I want to be that. So I get, get children to think about what they want to be. Right. I think as well that the, how you do things with the, you know, the cards and such in this very engaging way is really good because I find that kids today, it's not like first time where you go and sit down in one place and read the entire book. Right. The attention span is kind of, it's kind of hard to pin down. And a point to note is that a lot of our students are, they're young, so they're, they're four-year-olds as right. well, so they probably can't read. So that's where there are a lot of colorful things for them to play with. These are actually crayons that they give them so that they can use and color. So they might can't write a story because each child has to write something at the end of, end of the class. If you can't write, you can draw. Okay. So there's something for everybody. I love this. Um, for, for whatever reason, if a parent can't, is not able to basically take advantage of this particular program, how can they do something similar at home? Well, we have what we call sensory kits. So these kits will have um, things like simple as, ooh, 
would ha we'll have tools that you can use to teach children about emotions as well. So you can get in touch with me and I can walk you through whatever you need. Okay, so you have kits. sensory kits that right. you can actually send to them. Yes. So okay, for them to utilize. Right. Really? Okay, so you have all of these things inside the sensory kit as well? Right, right. Got so you. it's a kit with all the different tools, the booklets that you can use and different tools that they can use. Props. All right. So, all right. So, so, so for instance, so I watch this program and the sensory kit is not going to get to me for the next couple of weeks. How can I start doing things with them that would actually help them to progress seamlessly into what you have put together? Um, well, you just need to well, talk to your child and see where they are and what they what they need, right. right? And based off that, you can simple YouTube search can show you different activities that you can do. Okay, right. nice. Okay, awesome. I love this. All right. Um, whew, there's a lot of things happening right now with um, technology and such. And uh, do you integrate any of that in it? Because these are pretty hands-on stuff, you know. Yes, it is. Um, so sometimes Some like screens and that kind of thing. So sometimes there there are things we can play on on stories we can play in. For them to listen to and watch little movies you know for for example everybody loves little mermaid different different stories that it can watch and play along with yeah so right. you basically have something there for everybody right there yeah is. i is. love that all right cool tell us again how we can get in touch with you so on instagram at blooming daily pub okay all right so somebody said i should ask a question when and where and what time um can you meet up like meet, okay. do you meet the parents where they are or do they come to you Okay, so they come to me. Okay. Um, when you're, if you're interested in signing up, you just go to my page. There's a link in my bio where you can sign up your child. Um, the next club meet is on March the 30th. Um, on this is that Saturday, next week Saturday, um, at two o'clock. So yeah. Yeah. Do you have activities for kids with disabilities as well? Um, I wouldn't say disabilities. Mm -hmm. um, there, there are there are children there that are non-verbal. Gotcha. So as I said, they probably are not speaking, probably not writing. What we do is um, probably give them things they can use, sensory sensory kits that they can play in. Love that. And yeah, that's okay. what we do. Love that. High fives, girl. Thank you. Love Thank this. you. Thank Love you. this. Now, Sean Richards, guys, storyteller from Blooming Daily Publishers. Stay with us. More to come right here on Weekend Smile. I like it.